One of our biggest fears today is the fear of fitting in. Do you know that in a study conducted by Mental Health Foundation, 40% of the young people agreed that the things their friends said about their body gave them body image pressure? Whoa, these are alarming figures. The thing is that none of us wants to be left behind, made fun of or feel left out. And in order to fulfill our desire of being accepted and liked by the society we move in, we end up pleasing people, meeting societal expectations, saying yes to everything, making bad choices, comparing ourselves to our peers and going into self-doubt. Outcome, excessive worry, stress, low self-esteem and poor mental health. Do you feel stressed due to negative peer pressure? Well, if yes, in this video, we are going to tell you some strategies that you can use to deal with negative peer pressure. So here's what's coming up in this video. Number one, what peer pressure exactly is? Number two, is peer pressure only negative? Number three, what are the various ways in which you can receive peer pressure from the world outside number four how can peer pressure impact you negatively and number five what are the various strategies that you can use to deal with negative peer pressure so let's get started the legendary martial artist bruce lee once said i'm not in this world to live up to your expectations and you're not in this world to live up to mine much like Bruce Lee, the famous American singer Christina Aguilera, speaking to Women's Health Mag in the year 2016, came out with all the pressures that are put on new mothers by the mainstream. This is what she said. We are expected to be pregnant, have the kids, breastfeed once we have the babies, and we are expected to look amazing after baby, right? We are expected to keep our boyfriends and husbands interested because we are supposed to get back to sexy and keep things exciting in the bedroom. There's such a long list. Well, that's the harsh reality. Society has expectations from us to live, look and act in particular ways. And many of us surrender to this negative peer pressure just to avoid being taken as an outsider. Now, this is exactly what peer pressure is. It is the influence people in your life like your family, friends, society and others have on you to do things you otherwise would not do. But here's a caveat. When we talk about peer pressure, we always relate it to something negative. This brings us to answer the question, is peer pressure only negative? Well, peer pressure can be both positive and negative. Let's first talk about positive peer pressure. Positive peer pressure is the positive influence people have on you that leads you to achieving positive outcomes and healthier life choices for yourself. Say a bunch of friends influence you to read books. This is positive peer pressure. Well, if you talk about me, I secretly adore a celebrity who influenced me to play tennis lately. Uh, 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 I aren't revealing the name here. So all the people who serve as a positive influence in your life probably got you into the habit of reading books, learning a new sport or making you cautious of how you should spend your valuable time. On the flip side, there are people who pressurize you to indulge in behaviors you would otherwise never take up. If you surrender and do things under pressure, your peers reward you by accepting you as a part of the group. But if you don't, they punish you by rejecting you. Therefore, you engage in these activities because of societal demand and urge to fit in, belong or be accepted by people that you put up with. As a result, you act in ways that sabotage your core values and make you feel loss of control over yourself and your life. Now, this not only dampens your self-esteem but also compels you to make bad choices or take poor decisions that make you suffer. For example, if you are a teenager, your peers may push you to try drugs, have smoke or alcohol, have sex, cheat, share inappropriate material online and whatnot. Now, much like positive and negative peer pressure, there are some other ways in which we receive peer pressure. 
One way is when a person or a group of people ask us to do something we won't do otherwise because either it's against our values or we aren't willing to do it. Now this is called as spoken peer pressure. For example, you aren't willing or prepared to hook up with someone and your friend says, you don't use a hookup app, you must do it. Come on, I'll help you set up your account and hook you up with someone. Now, another way of receiving peer pressure is unspoken peer pressure. Now, in this, you simply put in a situation where you're made to come face to face with the behaviors, attitudes and choices of others and you feel pressured to comply with them. Still another way in which you can receive peer pressure is called direct peer pressure. This is very much like feeling the pressure to comply with someone else's behavior and this can be both spoken or unspoken. You may feel this pressure the most when you are uncomfortable with the situation you are put into. For example, say you are an introvert and you feel the pressure to actively participate with guests or call from the extroverts. Your extrovert family member may say, Make sure you are talking to the guests when they come over, stop being an introvert for some time. Or your extrovert cousin may say, I don't think I have told you about dating this person, how can I miss it? Oh, got it, it's because we didn't speak. When did we last speak? Last month? Now here's a final way in which you can receive peer pressure. This is called indirect peer pressure. Now, this is a type of toned down peer pressure that may have a strong influence on you. You may hear popular peers in your company doing drugs and you too may feel tempted to try them just because you want to be accepted by them. Now, that being said, giving in to the pressure that you receive from your peers may seem very casual to you. But in reality, this can mean a serious thing for you and your mental health. Needless to say, Peer pressure can have a negative influence on you. Let's see how. Number one, you may experience depressive symptoms. Negative peer pressure can prove harmful for your mental health. This is because when you do things to get acceptance from people around you, you do it by either going against your values or your will. Your need to fit in makes you go against your values or compels you to behave in risky ways which can cost you your mental health. For instance, when you are pressurized to maintain a particular social status in the society, you engage in dangerous behaviors like cheating, overworking, doing things to prove your worth or spending beyond your capacity. Now this may leave you anxious, depressed or completely drained out. Besides this, you may feel unworthy about yourself, overthink about failures and develop sensitivity to criticism and rejection. Criticism and rejection from others may sound like personal attacks in place of opportunities for growth. Number 2. You feel a lack of autonomy. Now, when others become the drivers of your life, you are doomed to feel a loss of control over yourself and your life, right? Now, this is because when others take charge, they force you to take decisions beyond your will. This may make you feel less confident and dependent, lose self-trust to take decisions in your life and lack originality and happiness. In fact, you may withdraw yourself from people who are truly your friends and want to be with you in the wake of fitting in with those who want to hear a yes from you and seek power. Honestly? They were never your well-wishers and only wanted you to surrender so that they can feel good. This is going to make you feel less authentic. Number 3. You may indulge in risky behaviors. One of the most common negative effects of peer pressure is getting into risky or aggressive behaviors. Now, this could be like feeling pressurized to consume alcohol, overspending, doing things against your value or will, speeding, smoking or indulging into reckless sexual activity. For instance, it is good to be influenced by people who you consider authority to earn money and become self-independent. However, this may give you pressure 
to pick up a job, business or anything that you don't want to do. Number four, you may have a false sense of reality. Social media is one of the avenues which is a major source of peer pressure for both teenagers and adults. Quite often, most of us end up considering the pictures posted by others on social media as perfect and real. This false reality pressures us to look and live in a certain way, which makes us feel worried, anxious and depressed. Some of us may even go into self-doubt, compare ourselves to others and feel that our life is useless which may add to the overall stress. Apart from ruining our mental health, we may strive to achieve this false reality and as a result engage in behaviours that may be dangerous for us. For instance, we may go on unreasonable diets to lose weight fast and end up starving which can severely impact our overall well-being. Likewise, we may set unrealistic goals and burn ourselves in achieving them which may mean unmindful living. Now that we know how peer pressure can impact us, it's time that we understand how to deal with negative peer pressure. Tip number one, if you are out of those who get influenced by people easily, then there's a higher probability that you have peers who are dominant and influential. So one of the ways in which you can overcome peer pressure is to choose your peers wisely. Now the question that you may be asking yourselves is how do we choose the right kind of peers? Well, there are several ways to know that. One of the ways is to identify people whose demands from you are far more than the contribution they make to your lives. These are the people who shouldn't be your influencers. Similarly, people who are possessed by negativity and end up complaining won't be able to influence you positively in any way. This is because they are themselves low on hope and self-confidence and will force you into self-doubt as well. Finally, people who give you 10,000 reasons of not doing something you truly want to do cannot be your influencers. You need people who encourage you to experiment, fail and then get up again and not those who challenge your capabilities and force you into self-doubt. Tip number two, do a personal audit of your feelings. If you do not feel right about something that you're compelled to do, do not ignore this feeling. If you feel uneasy about the situation you are put into, there is a higher probability that there's something wrong about the whole thing. Accept your feelings and avoid getting into the situation if possible, despite your friends feeling comfortable about the whole thing. Tip number three, learn to identify the good and the bad gestures of your peers. If they try to force you, dominate you, cheat on you or threaten you to do things, it's a bad act on their part. Likewise, if your peers bully you, make fun of you, humiliate or criticize you for whatever you choose to do, this too must not be accepted and in no way should be taken lightly. It is best to avoid such situations or people. Tip number four. One of the other essential things to practice is to understand that you cannot make everyone happy. This is because your values, beliefs and ideologies may be different from that of your peers. Engaging in things to please your peers would only make matters worse because you may do things against your will and may feel anxious, guilty and unworthy which is bad for your mental health. Therefore, it is highly advisable not to do things just to please your peers. Tip number 5. Understand, it is important to say no to things that you do not like or activities that you do not want to take up. It would be difficult initially, but it would pay off eventually as you would not feel pressured to do things that you do not want to do. Don't think about things like, my peers won't accept me if I say a no. Honestly, it does not matter if they accept or reject you. What matters is to stay true to yourself for your overall well-being. Tip number six. Social media is one of the major sources of peer pressure in our times. Remind yourself that the perfection depicted in the content shared on social media like Instagram is false and unreal. Understand, no one is perfect.
Say for instance if you get influenced from your peers on social media for exercising and having a balanced diet for a healthy living it is great and necessary however overdoing it to have a perfect body and making it as one of the factors to be liked and accepted by people is irrational tip number 7 try to change the direction of the conversation when your peers try to pressure you you can ask them for drinks or discuss about something that interests them tip number 8 seek the help of the authoritative figures in your life like your parents or professionals like life coaches who can help you deal with negative peer pressure effectively That's it these were the eight powerful strategies that you can use to deal with negative peer pressure we would love to know some of the ways in which you deal with negative peer pressure in the comments below if you found this video helpful share it and subscribe to our youtube channel zero to eternity for more such content and please hit the bell icon for receiving updates each time we post a new video